with this Venture Camp All-Stars finally finished, what's up next? Well, the Staff Story Shorts, of course. There's supposed to be four coming out in total. And the first one actually just released today. For Jensen. Yes, Jensen still lives. So today, what I want to do is... I'm actually going to steal this one from Derpy. I didn't watch the teaser at all, so I actually want to watch the teaser first and then get into the full episode. Here we go. I see the boss. Search everything! There he is. <laughs> seems like he wasn't a near-death experience, and this seems to be taking place r straight after the first season where they're still looking for him to get the to find him and get the money back how did they not hear him how the hell did they not hear him That work out well for you. Episode one. And when did you know it? Today is Saturday, September 14th. Well, it's September 15th for you guys watching at home. <laughs> and convenient that it pops up right here. So, let's take a look now, why don't we? I see the boss. Search everything! Woke by the ears. And here we go. <laughs> It's still a wonder how they didn't hear him. You know, contains topic images that may be sensitive for some people. Viewer discretion is advised. Thank you, Odd Nation. I just finished streaming Danganronpa, so I, like I'm Fuck so it. tired right now. But while I'm here, decide to react to this. Here we go, the intro. Kind of so apparently half of these stories are them dealing with the past, while the other half of these stories actually take place in the past, which I definitely find interesting. Seems like the very last one with Derek and Trevor is probably the one I'm looking forward to, but Marcus's, Marcus's story is definitely one I'm really looking forward to. Because the possibility of like, what? How did Nina come to be? But right now, we're focusing on Jensen dealing with his past. A wolf and cub. And of course, as that man he is, he's ready to kill it. said he found him on the side of the road. Found Wait, is this Jensen? Why would he head the poor dog? Oh, Vladimir. 
You've got a lot to learn, Vladimir. No one likes to take blame for past actions. Is he gonna be okay? Yeah, I'll just need to bandage his leg. Come on, let's get you fixed up. Oh, what's wrong, buddy? Mm. Natasha, hungry. is Bailey okay? Yeah, we actually found an owner for him. They might come get him at any moment now. That's great news. I'll put him in the back while we wait. Give him a bigger kennel. What boy deserves it after all he went I will. We will find an owner for you soon. We're just taking care of you till it happens, okay? I'll call you Griffiths. Okay. How about we play a little fish? Griffiths? I don't think you can play fetch, it's got a mess up leg. Who's that good boy? Fetch! Ah, oh, that's adorable. <laughs> I wonder what that has to do with Jensen. Uh, wait, Rufus, come back! We aren't allowed back there! Oh my god! What the heck happened? Oh, hunting rabbits. It's the only food he's got, unfortunately. I wonder what that has to do with Jensen now. A deer. Bunch of dead rabbits. Back off. This is my catch. Go get your own. Uh, fine. I'm giving you one. Now eat it and leave me alone. I told you not to go in the back. It was my one goddamn rule. Poor Bailey. So this would be Jensen then. He a promise. He was in pain, Vladimir. There was nothing we could have done. Ah, so you euthanized it. What the hell do you want from me? You see this shelter? <gasps> Every day we have new animals. We can't save everyone, Vladimir. I tried to keep the ugly stuff hidden, but maybe it's time you learn. Learn what? These animals are lost. We provide for them what we can, but if we don't find an owner for them, we can't lose money keeping them going. It could be used Damn. to save other animals that might get rescued. So you would kill Rufus if he doesn't get picked up? After a time, yes. <clears throat> <clears throat> Come on, buddy. So we got a pet. Yeah, no issue. I just realized, but did she put down that bigger dog? The one that wouldn't eat? I mean, I know it's what happened, Why? but it is pretty sad. Oh, all right. Sorry, I uh, almost killed your mom. Why is the cub so caring? To be fair, she attacked me. I don't. I don't think it's. <laughs> I don't think it's completely understanding anything. Sorry to interrupt. If you're enjoying this episode of Dispenser Camp, we would really appreciate. I don't think the poor pup's completely understanding what's going on. Subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. You can also join our Patreon community, where you can see the episodes before anyone else. This is the best way to help us create more episodes quickly. And now, back to this venture camp on Odd Nation Cartoons. <laughs> Wants to play with you. 
Where's this for? <laughs> Stupid dog. Hey, quit it, you brat. Guessing you dropped the kid on his head before he was born. Oh, don't threaten the mom. Adding insult upon injury. Another memory of the past. <laughs> Kicking a can. Your boy. Here you go, Rufus. Yeah, I smuggled some of that Sorry, out. Sorry, I can't let you inside. Dogs aren't allowed at my apartment. Natasha's gonna wonder where I am. I'll be back later. Take these while I'm gone. Or other dogs. Please tell me he's gonna save it. Rufus? Is this why he went hunting animals? <laughs> I knew it! Scared the poor dog. Is this why he has a vendetta against animals? Nice that he's got. Hmm. Your cats eat five of my rabbits today. Once you're all better, I'm done feeding them. I'm sorry for, you know, stabbing you and all. I know you were just protecting your pup. I, I would have done and the same. Bob's killed his sister. Case clear. <laughs> now he's got the wolves on his side. Damn, like that was that was fucking brutal. Don't, just don't. Okay. It's a dead end on three pop. One, two. There was no three. 
I'm sorry. I just wanted everyone to be okay. But you were right. I shouldn't have worried so much about your stupid jokes. After Mom left, you were the only one who stayed with me. I should have listened to you. Now I don't have anyone. Please forgive me. <laughs> Come on. I will call you Rufus. Ah, oh, after the dog. Not sure. I want to leave all of this behind us. Do you know a place where no one can find us? Maybe <laughs> he actually can responded. I don't want to go back to the city. We'll start a new life and a sure new name. We could stop for rabbits. <laughs> A new life where nobody knows your name. That was so intense. I know it said it had heavy themes, but that was like more intense than I was expecting. And this is, I mean, I feel like for right now, this is to be expected since Jensen is essentially a poacher anyways. He kills animals for a living. I guess the backstory like really hit hard. But now I'm curious what's gonna happen with Crystal, since I think she's next. Crystal confronting her father. I am absolutely curious to see where that's gonna go. I don't- I highly doubt it's gonna be as intense, but... Oh boy, time will only tell. I'll see you guys then.